Well, well, I'll let one of you guys do the honors. Introduce okay. our guest. I'll, I'll introduce him. Yep. Um, Rich Turner's official title is Senior Program Manager at Microsoft, but he's best known on the web, I'd say, for being Mr. Bash. <laughs> um, he, Which isn't if as you bad see, as it sounds. It's not as bad as it sounds. It's not, it's like, not like Mr. Bill. Oh, no, Mr. No, Bash. Not, not like that. Like no, no, that. no, no, no. No, no. If you've, if you've seen anything about stuff Microsoft's been doing with Bash and Windows 10 around the console, uh, things around the console, Bash, um, Windows subsystem for Linux, he's one of the main guys who's been involved with this. So it's awesome to get him on Windows Weekly. Welcome. Thank you for Welcome, coming Rich. on. Yeah. Oh, thanks for having me on as well. Uh, I was hoping to come on and uh, chat with you guys mm -hmm. around this time last year after we just announced uh, Bash at Build for the first time. Um, and I know that Peter took my stead essentially uh, and did a great job of that. So <laughs> that's fine. Um, but it's really exciting to be talking with you guys. I've been listen a listener for many years. So it's, uh, oh, it's nice. fun to be online with you all. Fantastic. You guys right, have explain, any questions? Explain yourself. Yeah, what have you done? yeah. I know what Therat wants to know. <laughs> Basically, Come what have you done to my Windows? Why? What have you done? I think that's yeah, a you know what? The why is good. Really, isn't it? <laughs> the why is an, actually a great place to start because a lot of people are like, why did Microsoft bring Bash yeah. to Windows? <clears throat> why? Sure. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, uh, to, to give you some context, uh, I actually came back to Microsoft last, uh, actually Leap Day last year, February 29th. Uh, I came back to Microsoft for this feature. Uh, I was at Microsoft from 2000 through 2010, working on a variety of products, including Windows uh, Communication Foundation and uh, what used to be called Indigo, um, and on .NET Framework and Visual Studio and various other things. And for the last six years or so, I've been out in the real world, um, you know, working with clients all over the country and uh, on a variety of platforms and technologies. Um, and, and learned a huge amount over the last uh, uh, last six years in particular. Um, and then the beginning of last year, I was in the middle of building yet another startup and uh, and getting very frustrated with Windows and, and uh, how awkward it was in many ways to use a lot of open source tools in particular uh, on Windows. Uh, a lot of them work very well, but a lot of them, the, the packages and the libraries that you bring into those projects um, kind of, they're, they're oftentimes built to run on Linux itself and expect the Linux file system to be laid out in a particular way, expect um, certain behaviors. Uh, and when you try and run those things on Windows, a lot of them fail, uh, which is a painful experience. Uh, so I actually tweeted just over a year ago and said, hey, who owns the Windows command line? I need to unload. And uh, someone, uh, someone tweeted me privately and said, hey, you need to mail this guy. So I mailed this guy and said, really sorry for the for the spam mail, but, and brain dumped on him for about three pages. Um, and he replied to me and said, I agree with everything you've said, uh, come for lunch. So I came for lunch and he told me about what Microsoft was doing around investing in a team to actually own the console for the first time in many years. Uh, and also then said, oh, there's one other thing. Uh, we have the ability to run Linux binaries on Windows. And I nearly fell off my chair at the time when we dug into what it meant, mm -hmm. um, because it was so exciting that uh, I wouldn't, I would no longer have to run uh, a VM uh, running Linux alongside my Windows development tools. I'd actually be able to run those tools directly on my Windows machine alongside all my uh, Windows development tools, my Windows productivity tools, and I'd have, be able to run everything essentially in one environment. Um, and he said, oh, we're looking for a PM to come in and, uh, and help us uh, drive some of this stuff if you're interested. And it's like, oh my God, it's like a red rag to a bull. Right? So <laughs> the, the startup immediately got shelved um, and I was applying for positions and going through interview loops and all the rest of it. Uh, for some reason they decided to hire me and, uh, and it's been a, a crazy, crazy ride this last 12 plus months um, to go from uh, the, we, I don't know how we managed to keep this thing under wraps, um, but it, there were very, very few <laughs> I'll leaks. I'll tell you how. Nobody could possibly believe <laughs> could that you were leave. doing it. Even Why? if they heard the rumor, they went, oh, that's insane. Right. They're, exactly. They're, they're I mean, I, I thought when I came in for lunch with, with my now manager, I, 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 thought he was, I thought he was joking. I thought he was completely putting my leg. <laughs> and when I came in, uh, for the first two weeks, I didn't actually have a laptop because there was a screw up in ordering. So I was using my personal Surface to, uh, you know, just to conduct meetings and email. Uh, I couldn't even get an internal build on this thing because they're all signed and, and secured. Um, 
And about two weeks later, I got a I got a work laptop. I got a work surface, and immediately put on the latest build out of the branch that the team working on WSR work from. And just this was on a Friday. Went home and just freaked out all weekend with how incredibly awesome this thing was. Even though it was pretty rough around the edges at the time, there were quite a few things that didn't work. There were quite a few gaps. But you could see where this thing was going, and if it just meant that we could just keep piling on bug fixing and and expanding the 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 breadth and the depth of the of the Linux features that we could support, uh, this thing could turn into something amazing. 